Hi everyone, welcome back to Useful Genetics. This is Lecture 5C. We're going to introduce the very important concept of heritability. This is a way of measuring the extent to which the phenotypic properties that we care about are actually dependent on genetic differences. So what we want to understand is how natural genetic variation causes natural phenotypic variation. And before we can try to identify the genes that are responsible and figure out how they work, we need to first find out how important genetic differences are for this phenotype. Once we know that genetic differences are important, then we can work to identify the genes responsible and try to understand how they work. So consider genes affecting height. We want to know how strongly do genes affect height. Then we can ask how many genes for height are there and what these genes are and what do they do. But the first step is to just find out how strongly genes affect height. And to do this, we'll measure a property called heritability. And we'll talk about how we estimate heritability in Lecture 9C. That's because we can't really talk about how we measure heritability until after we've discussed in detail how inheritance actually works. And that's going to happen mostly in Module 7. Until then, though, we can still use the concept of heritability to think about identifying the genes responsible for the phenotypes we care about. And the concept of heritability is a measure of how much of the differences in phenotype that we see are due to differences in genotype. So in particular for height, we can say that we've measured both the differences in height and an estimate of DNA sequence differences. And we can say for height, 80% of the observed differences in height, whether you're tall or short, how tall or short you are, are due to differences in DNA sequences. And we then restate this by saying that the heritability of human height is 80%. Now, we can apply the same concept to lots of other features, phenotypic features, and sometimes we'll find high heritability. 80% is very high. It means that only 20% of the differences are due to differences in chance and in environment. Um, but we can ask about things such as the risk of bladder cancer. We can ask, how strongly do genes affect the risk of bladder cancer? Once we know this, we may be able to find out how many genes there are and what do these genes do, which will give us insights into how bladder cancer arises. The first thing is how much of the risk is due to genes. And here we can say, well, it's not like height. In fact, only 7% of the differences in the risk of bladder cancer are due to DNA sequence differences. So we'd say that the heritability of bladder cancer is only 7%. This is important information because it tells us that we shouldn't waste our time studying the genes responsible for this small difference in risk. Instead, we should be paying attention to environmental factors and to random mutations, things that are not determined by the genes that we inherit. Now, even though we're not going to talk about how to measure heritability yet, it's important to emphasize that we can measure heritability without having to identify the genes involved. We can say height is 80% heritable, even though we don't yet know anything about what these genes are. This leads us to the next step, which is, of course, we want to identify the responsible genes. So, so what we've done in this lecture is to define heritability to understand that it gives us a measure of how much impact the genetic differences have on the phenotypic differences that we care about. It tells us 
lets us identify those phenotypes that are highly heritable, and those in turn are the best candidates for genetic research. Now, in the next lecture, we're going to talk about a very important technique called a genome-wide association study. It's quite a new technique made possible by advances in genomics, and it allows us to identify the genes that are responsible for the differences in phenotype. We'll talk about these in the next lecture. I hope to see you there.